Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Just a quick video to show you some easy ways on how to run and launch Windows PowerShell as an administrator on both Windows 10 and 11 and the process is very similar on both operating systems. Now there are a couple of different methods you can use but in my case I'm just going to show you what I would consider um, the three easiest ways to launch a PowerShell in case you were unaware. Now in case you didn't know what PowerShell is it's very similar to a command prompt and according to Microsoft Docs and Microsoft this they, they say that PowerShell is a cross-platform task automation solution made up of a command line shell, a scripting language and a configuration management framework and runs on Windows, Linux and Mac OS so it is cross-platform and it's also a modern a command shell that includes the best features of other popular shells and I do find that I use PowerShell quite regularly on both my Windows 10 and 11 devices. Now the first way you can launch PowerShell in case you uh, were unaware is just to do a search and you just enter Windows and that's enough in most cases to bring up Windows PowerShell else you just do a full search for Windows PowerShell and then you run and launch it as administrator and I always suggest in most cases to run PowerShell as admin as it does to just give you some extra privileges so that's the first option and then the second is just to right click on the start menu and here you'll see Windows PowerShell and you just click on admin and that will run it as admin once again and then the third and final method for this video is using run on both Windows 10 and 11 and how you uh, can launch a run a quick and easy way to do that uh, is just by hitting the Windows and R key um, on your keyboard that'll open run and then you can see we just enter PowerShell into uh, the the field and then to run and launch it as administrator you can use, just use another keyboard shortcut which will be control uh, shift and then you just need to hit enter and there we can see it runs it as admin once again. So those are just three simple ways you can run and launch Windows PowerShell on both Windows 10 and 11. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.